I am joining you today from the traditional territories of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabeg, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples, and is now home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit, and Métis peoples. I would also like to acknowledge that Toronto is covered by Treaty 13 with the Mississaugas of the Credit. Hello everyone and welcome to Storytime. My name is Christy and my pronouns are she and her and I'm so happy that you're joining me today. So let's get started. Everybody sit down, sit down, sit down. Everybody sit down on the floor. Not on the ceiling, not on the door. Everybody sit down on the floor. Thank you. So I'm so glad you're joining me today because today I would like to read you a very special story about... Hey, monkey puppet. Oh, hi, hi, friends. Monkey puppet, you're home from the park early. Yeah, well... The park wasn't so fun today. Didn't you have any friends there today? All my friends were there. Wow. Well, that sounds great. But it seems like something happened. Tell me about it, Monkey Puppet. You have my full attention. Well, there, there was a new kid I've never seen there before. His name was Baboon Puppet. And, and one of the other kids was bullying him because of how he looks in the back. And, well, that, that made me and my friends really mad because Baboon Puppet didn't like it at all. So, um, Chimp Puppet wanted to fight the bully and Bonobo Puppet kind of wanted to hide. And Orangutan Puppet and Gorilla Puppet and I didn't know what to do to stop it because we were kind of scared too. There were lots of kids watching it, and no one was doing anything to help. Oh, no. Did anyone stop it? What happened to poor Baboon Puppet? Well, he was crying. So I just walked over to him and told him to come play with us. I, I was so scared, but I didn't like to see anyone getting picked on like that. Wow, Monkey Puppet, you're so brave, and I'm so proud of you. What a kind and sweet and gentle, courageous monkey you are. So what happened next? All my friends came with me then, and we took ba Baboon Puppet with us to our favorite monkey bars. But no one really felt like playing anymore. We were all still pretty upset, and Chip still thought we should have fought the bully. But Baboon Puppet stayed with us, and he's going to come play with us tomorrow too. When his mom came to pick us up, she told me I'm a playground hero. But I didn't really do anything. Should I have fought the bully? Monkey Puppet, I am so glad that you are kind and brave and that you care about others. I'm also really proud of you for being smart and gentle enough for solving the problem without trying to hurt anyone. What you did was enough. You stood up for Baboon Puppet when he needed a friend. And you stopped him from getting bullied. Hey, yeah, I guess I did. I was pretty scared, but I knew I had to do what was right. Can, can I have a hug? I was hoping you'd ask. Hmm. And can I have a story too? Of course. What would you like? Mm, well, how about Stick and Stone? This story rocks. It's about sticking up for friends. Perfect. Stick and Stone by Beth Ferry and Tom Lichtenheld. To Chris my rock. 
and to my cohorts from the Valley Forge, friends for life. Stick, stone, lonely, alone, a zero, a one, <sighs> alone is no fun. Stick. Stone. Along comes Pinecone. <coughs> Makes fun of Stone. Won't leave him alone. <coughs> Vanish, says Stick. His word does the trick. Huff. Stone whispers, Gee, you stuck up for me. That's just what sticks do. Friends do it too. Stick, stone, no longer alone. Stick, stone, a friendship has grown. They wander, explore, ooh, ooh. and lays by the shore. <laughs> then There goes Pinecone. Hold on, calls out Stone. Again, he's alone. Search day, stick, 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 and search night. No stick in sight. What's this? A huge puddle. Stick stuck in the muddle. Help! Stone rescues him quick. says Stick. That's just what stones do. Best friendship rocks too. Stick, stone, together again. Stick, stone, a perfect ten. To the end. Sorry I needled you so much. didn't let Pinecone bully Stone. And then Stick and Stone became friends, just like me and Baboon Puppet. That's true. A and in the end, even Pinecone became their friend, I think. But wasn't Pinecone a bully? Well, sometimes even mostly nice people do things they wish they hadn't. Uh oh, yeah. Like when Gorilla Puppet laughed at me when I slipped on a banana peel last week? Or like yesterday when I told Orangutan Puppet that she couldn't come to my birthday party? I felt so sorry after that. Yes, just like that. 
Maybe Pinecone was just having a bad day. Maybe she was feeling sad or mad about something. Or, or lonely or jealous. I think I was feeling lonely and jealous of orangutan when I told her she couldn't come to my birthday party because she was going on a trip and I couldn't go. My big feelings made it hard for me to make a good choice and I hurt my friend's feelings. Maybe Pinecone was just feeling jealous or lonely too. You could be right, Monkey Puppet. All feelings are normal and all feelings are okay? That's right. As long as we're careful not to hurt ourselves or others when our feelings are big. We can all make our own choices to be kind and gentle and brave. Just like you did today. You were mad and scared, but you didn't fight and you didn't run away. Your feelings were big, but you were able to make good choices. Everyone can make good choices and everyone can be kind and brave and gentle playground heroes. The friends at home can too. That's right. You can all be brave and gentle playground heroes by being kind when someone is having a hard time. Should we say goodbye, Monkey Puppet? Our story is over, it's over, it's over. Our story is over, it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, friends. Till next time. No matter what you're feeling, it can be helpful to share your feelings with someone you love and trust. If you are having big feelings and you are not comfortable talking to your friends and family about it, you can always talk to your teacher or call the Kids Helpline. Their phone number is 1-800-668-6868. If you are a grown-up who is having big feelings that are difficult to handle on your own, you can always reach out to us or call a helpline. Find the resource that is right for you in the description box below. Take care.